a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. We have the IQ review. We've been in the studio for like two hours waiting for you, guest host. Why are you dressed like that? I'm not going. What do you mean you're not going? Go dress, get dressed, and let's go. Come on, we got an IQ review to do. Come on. I'm not going out there, not with all the zombies out there. Zombies. Uh, did she just use the Z word? Zombies. Yeah, yeah no. zombies. Haven't you been watching the news? People are eating people's faces off. The news is saying it's basalt, but I've been watching enough zombie movie films to know what is really going on, okay? I'm not going out there, guys, and that's that. Listen, Joan, you can't live your life in fear like this, okay? All that stuff that you're hearing on the radio, on the TV, it's all like this propaganda to keep people inside their apartments eating pizza rolls and Hot Pockets, okay? Come on, Joan, you're better than that. You think so? I know so, Joan. Come on, look. Come outside. I got some pizza rolls right here for you. Oh, they smell good, huh? You want those, don't you? Uh, but first, you have to come out, conquer your fear. There's no zombies out here eating people, okay? You gotta conquer your fear, because staying in there to stay alive, that ain't really living, is it? No. So, so take off your outbreak suit, put down the shotgun, and let's go film a night cure review, huh? What do you say? Come on, that's it. Good. Come on. I'm sorry, guys. I, I guess I just, I guess I just get paranoid, you know. I'm watching the news, and you know, I'm just, I'm just not living at home anymore. And I guess I just. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the IQ Review. I'm Joel Valley. I'm Joan. And we have a guest host today. Monica Sanchez. So, uh, Everybody. Hi, Monica. Yeah, what's up, Monica? <laughs> She's uh, going to be with us for the next couple of ec episodes, right? Yes. Filling in for Brian, who's no longer with us. Or she's not really filling in because Brian's never coming no back. No longer with us, as but, in he's yeah. no longer with us. Yeah. Or? yeah. So um, this week, her first review with us is going to be a movie called Phase Seven. This movie comes to us from the land of Argentina. Okay. Ooh. It is uh, 2011. Uh, it was directed by Nicholas Goldbart and written by him as well. And it stars Daniel Handler. Yeah. Jasmine Stewart. And Yayo or Shasho. Shasho. Yeah, depends, depends you know, on like. Argentinian. Such a cool name. Yeah. yeah. So it's rated R and it's got a run time of 90 some minutes. Um, so uh, basically, this movie is um, it's like it starts out almost if you've ever seen Wreck from Spain or you've seen Quarantine <laughs> from the US, the remake of Wreck. It kind of starts out like the same thing. Yeah. Like they're in this totally. apartment building and all of a sudden the government comes in and quarantines it, and they have to live there, they can't leave and stuff like that, and then problems arise. So, Monica, what did you think of My first thoughts was, oh, this is, you know, nice another casual quarantine movie. I got it. Um, it is subtitled English, you know, beautiful language, so, and then it turns, takes a left turn to Violentville quickly. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I enjoyed it. It was really entertaining. I didn't really ever know what was coming or what was going to happen. Um, the 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 violent scenes, very well done. If especially if you're really into that stuff, it's you know it's pretty pretty quality. Um, I don't want to give anything away, but you know, guns blowing people up. Yeah. <laughs> 
Awesome. Okay, Joan, what do you think? Well, for me, like, I always love subtitle movies. Like, that's actually something for me, because subtitle movies always, like, draw me in. I'm, like, forced to pay attention, good movie or bad. But I, I actually really liked it. Okay. I like movies that actually, I, I'm on a total, like, thriller, violent kick right now. I mean, no judgment, please. But <laughs> that's just, like, something that I'm, like, really, I, I liked it personally. This is something that, average size bowl of popcorn, um... I wouldn't say this is something good for kids. <laughs> like, um, not, I mean. Unless you're like raising Chucky. I know. Oh uh, my God. I mean, no, like, I'm trying to think, like, maybe like 16, 17, yeah. okay. maybe, like, they could watch this. But below that, no. Like, my cousins would not be allowed to watch this at all. This is something that I actually, I was watching at night. I had my bowl of popcorn, and I actually freaked myself <laughs> out because I had all the lights off. I really set. The, the tone for the room. But no, I really, it's a really good movie, very action packed. I don't feel that had really any lulls that were inappropriate or that had lulls at all personally, but I liked it. What movie did you guys watch? I swear. <laughs> oh, no. This movie, oh, this movie is horrible. Oh, really? I, listen, listen, it's shot great, it looks great. Dude, don't listen no. to him. No, oh, no, no, let, no, 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 for, for real, look it. I remember like watching this and going, is something gonna happen? Is something gonna happen? Because it's just these this two couple, one's pregnant, and it's it's just like, and I don't know. Since I maybe because I speak uh, Spanish fluently, like it was all overacted, and uh, wow. and then it was just like, and I think I hit like forty seven minutes before something finally <laughs> happened that wasn't just talking. I it really sets the set of the movie though. It really does. The set is an apartment building. You don't need 47 minutes to set up that set. No, and then I'm when sorry. something does happen, it's big. You're like, wow, okay. Yeah, and, and then, okay, I know, and that's what I'm talking okay. about. It happened at like 47 minutes in, and then, and then attention. what? And then I what? Come on, like, it just wasn't, no, it just, I'm sorry. It, it looked great. Whoever shot it knew what they were doing. It, it looked great. It sounded great. Actually, the score is really what, it oh, yeah. drives this movie It'll like keep you on that juice. like because yeah, I'm yeah. like okay Very, like, I've been watching people talk for the last 30 minutes but it's not too bad because the score helps a lot you know but I think this, I'm okay. sorry stay away from this movie don't even waste your time <laughs> oh, putting it gosh. in your queue I'm okay, sorry I'm just maybe, sorry maybe it's because you speak Spanish fluently for me it was a subtitle so I was really involved in reading the subtitles and watching the movie so that always helps me whenever I'm watching something I guess it takes away if there's a lull but I don't believe there was as long as you're I don't know. Not. It was like, I don't know what what this movie was trying to do. What was it trying to be? I think you know, but I think this what really got me drawn into it was like I could see this happening. I could be living in this apartment and all of this happening to me. I know. Right? Like, you really put yourself in this position. I mean, maybe it's the, it's the two girls of this. Maybe this maybe is like so. a, a like a thriller chick <laughs> flick. I don't know. No, it was, it's, yeah, it's I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you guys can write in to us, tell me I'm crazy, You're or crazy. tell me you agree <laughs> with me. Because this movie, I'm sorry, I mean, you, you, there's just basic script writing. By page 20, you better be in act two, and you better start giving me something <laughs> to, to keep me there, because I had nothing. There was no reason why I had to keep watching this, except for we were gonna review it, and I oh try, unless gosh. it's a really bad movie, to, I, I'll watch the whole thing. Okay. And so I did, nothing happened, S let's do some stars. Monica, star your first movie review with her. I'm gonna star my first movie here as a three, solid three. Yeah, I have to go with Monica. It's three stars. It's not a four. This isn't a rewatching no. movie. Um, I definitely wouldn't. I don't want to own this movie at all. But it's. I think it's a worth one yeah. watch movie. One watch. And it's. It's nice. I liked it. Um, <laughs> I, this is not a date movie. This isn't something that I would recommend for that. This, this isn't is, even a movie because a movie has oh. a plot, has a first act, second or third act. So I'm just no, gonna throw that No, this is like something there. that I would recommend for people to watch, like when you're alone at home and you just want to watch a movie at night. Like this is a great movie for that. Not a date movie. Not. Something I recommend with your this or movie if you have a TV and a DVD player and you're locked into your house and you're quarantined and you can't <laughs> leave and you can't go rent something else or buy something else and this is the only only DVD you have and you want to read it then watch it <laughs> if you want to. if you want to yeah like so I'm sorry one star you know wow. and it's not because listen oh my god yeah but when I rate one stars a lot of movies that I hate I'll be like they don't even deserve a star okay. this does deserve one star because yeah, it looks good true. it sounds good score is great Story, you gotta work on that. You gotta work on that. That's all I'm saying. So that's it. Fair enough. Join us <laughs> next week. 
when we review the movie Poor White Trash. You're not going to want to miss it. So you're not going to want to miss the skit, too, because oh, we already filmed oh, it. Yeah. Awesome. That's pretty funny. So. All right, we'll see you guys. Bye. Bye.